Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Software Inc. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be jumping in to an early release version of Software Inc. Alpha 10. It's been a little while since we last jumped in, but I figure it's about time. This version of Software Inc. is available on the testing branch on Steam. It is worth pointing out that some things may change as this version continues to get developed and in the run-up to it being pushed to the main branch of the game. Just Google how to get in like Steam beta things if you want to play it yourself. It's totally available, but we are going to be jumping in. We're starting with 6,000 pounds. It is 1980. We're going to play on medium difficulty. We're having one day per month. We have no mods. In the bottom left, we can see that I have no leadership skills and no marketing skills, but my programming and designing skills are up there a little bit. I'm going to specialize in, let's see here, audio design. I'm going to specialize in audio coding, and I'm going to specialize in audio art. So I am specializing 100% in audio because I want to make some audio software as my first thing. So it kind of makes sense that we would do that. Uh, we have me right here in the middle looking, uh, I think, kind of suitable for the 80s. You know, we got this kind of beige jumper going. I actually own a jumper like that. It's one of my favorite jumpers. So, you know, don't hate. Appreciate. Anyway, we are also going to be doing some things differently this time around. Usually you start on a blunt. Did I really just say don't hate, appreciate? Wow. Usually you start on an empty plot in Software Inc. And you can still do that. You can put in your generation string if you so desire. You can have rural, you can have town, and as we saw, you can have city, you can have temperate, you can have cold, you can have warm. We're not going to be bothering with that. We are actually going to be renting an apartment. That's what we're going to be doing. Because it's cheaper than building our own place, and because we only have 6,000 pounds to begin with. So, with that in mind, let's begin. Let's start building. So, let's get ourselves a table, since that's obviously going to be fairly important so we'll go ahead and just put it there and we're also gonna go with the uh i mean we could go with a cheap chair i feel like a chair is something that we want to uh we want to make sure we're comfortable i think that's gonna be important and i think we're also gonna sort by office here and we'll get ourselves an old computer and that's really all we need right there that is all we need but i want to throw a couple more things in here i'm gonna put a table plant there I am going to put a clock up above the computer, and we're going to put a painting up there as well, just to sort of boost the ambiance of the room. That's that's what we're doing. We're boosting the um. I can't even say that word with a straight... Never mind. We're making the room pretty, is what we're doing. We're making the room slightly pretty. And, uh, I mean, I'm I'm both capable of doing programming and design work. So, if I wanted to boost programming, we could put a calculator there. Design work as well. I mean, the drawing tablet is primarily for artists. So, I think we'll just go for a calculator to boost my programming a little bit. And that should be fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we desperately need. I don't think there is, though. So I think with that, we are probably good to say, let's begin. It is February of 1980. I am coming into work and I don't currently have anything to do. So we should probably get me something to do since we are sitting in 4,770 pounds. And that something is going to be, let's see here, a logistics application. So we'll go ahead and take that and we can get to work on it. Hopefully going to get through that relatively quickly. We absolutely are. We got to get the code done nice and quickly as well. That's actually going so quickly. We'll promote that and we'll go ahead and release it, which got me a decent bit of money. And we still have plenty of the day left. So let's go ahead and grab the other logistics application there and see just how quickly we can uh, get through the design phase of you, how quickly we can get through the coding phase as well, which is remarkably quickly. And we can get through a couple of bugs as well and release it. There we go. We just made a, a pretty good profit. We just, I mean, we went from 6,000 to we just tripled the, uh, the money that we started with in the space of a month. Amazing. So let's go ahead and keep that up. We don't want to do game assets. 
that's for sure. Because things that game assets need artists. Now, this right here recommends one designer, one programmer. So we'll take that embedded system. And we'll go ahead and get to work on that because we can do that in a relatively short space of time. We can go ahead and get all of the code done as well. And we can go ahead and release it. And there we go. So at some point, for those of you that don't know what this game is about, I will go ahead and walk through uh, what exactly it is I'm doing with uh, all the different phases. Just it, it's worth pointing out that games and software go through three phases within Software Inc. You have your design phase, you have your programming phase, and your beta phase. So you need designers for the design phase. You might need artists as well. Uh, you need programmers and potentially artists for the alpha phase. And then, technically speaking, it's just going to be programmers going through the beta phase. But I think you'll come, you'll, you'll sort of get used to it as time goes by. Now, let's see here. This embedded system needs two designers, two programmers, and an artist. This one needs one designer, one programmer. Let's go ahead and grab that as well, because I'm pretty sure we can at least get it largely done today before I head off home. Yep. Mostly done, which is fantastic news. Let's go ahead and promote that. Let's go ahead and release it. And again, money coming in. Now let's have a look at contracts. We have another logistics application. We'll accept it and get to work on it. But what I'm also thinking we'll do is we'll actually pause for a second and we're going to start working immediately on our own piece of software, which is going to be an audio tool. So it's going to be an audio tool that I want to put on whatever the most popular operating system is, which looks like it's going to be Lion 4. And that license to put it on that operating system is going to be £4,000. Now, with that said, I think we're also going to put it on Opti Slim 4. So it's going to be 6,000 in licensing. But we have 800,000 people that we can potentially reach here. So that seems like it could be worth it. And it's also going to take less than a year with one designer and two programmers. If we put a music editor in there, it's going to recommend more than a year for two designers and three programmers. And we also need a 2D editor in there. So we're just going to go with something simple. We are just going to have something that plays back audio. So we need to come up with a name for whatever this is. And it's also going to be... Uh, Let's say $17.99. There we go. It's going to be £17.99. Uh, what can we call this then? I mean, we could go with an old Nerdrosoft. Nerdrosoft Wave. Because that's the name we always go for, isn't it? So Nerdrosoft Wave is going to be the the thing. You've got your, your the waves of the audio are going to be like, you know, whatever. Uh... <laughs> Let's just go ahead and make this thing and hope that it's decent at some point. But what we are going to need to do is make sure that the priority of the contracts is always higher so that those are actually getting done. That is that is something that's really, really important. Uh, now, let's go ahead and see if we can get a few bugs out of there. Give that thing a release. And we're doing all right. So, Nerdresoft Wave is actually sitting pretty good here. The design phase is coming along. It's outstanding, and now we can just go ahead and code it. Now, the only issue is that we don't have anyone to market this thing. We don't have a marketer at all, and I have no marketing training, so... We're going to have to figure that out, is what we're going to need to do. Now, this thing here is actually recommending... That's a GUI, so it recommends artists. Okay, I'm not too keen on that, but we can grab that embedded system just there. And we can make that a priority. So there we go. We'll develop that. We'll hopefully get this nearly done today. In fact, there we go. Promote it. And let's just push it into beta immediately and release it. So there we go. We made money again, which is fantastic news. Uh, now, looking at Nerdsoft Wave, we're at 1.0 on the code. We could go ahead and outsource some reviews on this thing to see what happens and we could also go ahead and maybe you know what i think we will try this logistics application even though it wants me to do some art that's fine 
it'll be a little bit slower, but that's all right. Uh, now, interestingly, the outsourced review is at a 2.0 already, which is pretty good news. So let's develop you. The art is actually going painfully slow there, which I'm a little concerned about, but that's fine. We'll get it done eventually. We're going to take a loss a little bit. This thing actually needs to go out this month. We might get that art done. We might not. I don't think we will. I think we'll just promote it. We'll get some bugs out and we'll release it. So it's outstanding quality, but it wasn't actually very good at all. That's fine. We'll not worry too much about it. Let's just go ahead and uh, make a profit anyway. And what we can also go ahead and do is just grab another contract. So we have game assets. We probably don't want to do that. We have an embedded system for one designer, one programmer. That's me. That's me right there. One designer, one programmer. The one and the same. Let's develop. Let, oh, that one needs a little bit more code than the previous ones we've dealt with. I think we can do that in a day, though. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. It was. Interesting. Well, that's fine. We'll not stress too much about it. Let's just promote it and release it. And there we go. A little bit of money. Let's grab another one. This is one designer, one programmer. That's me, the one on the same. And we'll go ahead and just up the priority of that. Now, at this point, I'm looking at my money and thinking we probably could bring in a second member of staff. And I'm very tempted to say that second member of staff could be a marketer. The only issue is that, technically speaking, we don't, we don't desperately need nor want a marketer on the same team you know, working on, on code. So I don't know how to feel about that. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and outsource uh, these reviews. We're looking at a 7.3 out of 10 right now. That's fantastic news. This thing might actually be good. This thing might actually end up being good. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting out a release date then. So it's currently October. We'd have October, November, December, January, releasing in February. So five months. Let's release it in March of 81, giving me five months to finish the product. Because I suppose it releases in March. We don't want to be working on it in March. And I think with that in mind, we might want to look at marketing. I wish you could outsource marketing. Outsourcing marketing would be really, really good to do. That'd be really good to do. Just unfortunate that I, I don't believe that's a thing you can currently do. Uh, anyway, let's grab ourselves another embedded system. We'll accept that and get to work in a second. Because I'm very tempted to grab a marketer. I'm really tempted to grab a marketer. In fact, I'm thinking that maybe what we could do is if we manage teams and we go to the core team here, we can manage the roles. We've got me. And we can say that I am never going to do marketing, which is fine. So I'm never going to do marketing. But if we hire someone who is primarily a marketer, we can say they never do programming, designing, or art, but they will do marketing. Meaning that we technically have two tasks being done by the one team, but by two different people. Because the, the, the reason we want to avoid having two teams in one room is because everyone gets a little bit annoyed. So if we can split the tasks, I, I, I think I'm making sense. Basically... Your workers will get annoyed if you have the core team and the marketing team in one room. So instead, we hire a marketer, we put them in the core team, and we say, you're never going to do anything but marketing. So if we assign marketing to the core team, he'll do that. He will never do programming. So I think that might be an idea. I also think hiring uh, or calling a cleaner and calling IT support could be an idea, just to make sure that computer stays all right. And I think what we could also do is actually go ahead and get ourselves another computer. I think that's going to be a good idea. So let's go ahead and put that there. And put that there. We'll grab ourselves another nice chair. We'll grab ourselves another computer. And we'll get ourselves a cactus. And you know what? We're also going to put a bookcase in the corner just there. And then what we'll do is we'll actually make some sort of uh, cubicles here. I think that might be a good idea. Just so that these guys, while they are on the same team, uh, they are going to have, you know, a degree of privacy, which I think is obviously kind of kind of important. 
So there we go. A little bit of privacy for the uh, the two guys there working on whatever their projects are going to be. Let's also go ahead and assign my computer to me since it has the calculator beside it because the marketer is going to want the phone. And uh, I don't know if we need anything else in here. We could throw a plant into the corner. Might make things a little bit nicer. But I think with that, we are pretty much good to go ahead and hire a new employee. So let's get ourselves a marketer. Let's go for low salary. Let's look for all of those things. And let's also look, let's spend about 1,500 pounds. So we'll begin looking. Compatibility is great from Quincy Pace. He can do a little bit of art, which, I mean, that's fine. But he is a marketer. Doesn't have much skill in marketing, unfortunately. Maybe we want to maybe we want to hire someone that's a little bit better. I know I just spent that money, but maybe we hire. Well, no, those, that salary is huge. Uh, well, that's a leader actually. Marketer takes a bit less. Let's try it. Let's let's see if we can find someone with a bit better skill. Now you're quite good. We're gonna try it. We have limited funds, but we're going to try it. And then what we can do is go manage the team, manage the roles, and say, you don't do programming, designing, or art. You just do marketing. And then what we can do is go ahead and start marketing this thing with the core team, which won't get done until... Oh, you're the IT person. That's fine. So that won't actually get done, which is fine. And there we go. This thing's being done as well, which is great news. It might get done before the end of the workday. Might not. Actually, it did. Perfect. And release. There we go. And the IT goes in, fixes up the computer. And we should have our marketer arriving tomorrow. So there we go. The marketer's in. Marketer's doing their thing. And hopefully, we're going to be able to get a decent press release out there for Nerdsoft Wave. Which, at this point, I mean, we could outsource a few more reviews. It's going to cost 60 per review. That's fine. Let's have a little look. It's 9 out of 10. It's 9 out of 10 right now. I think we're going to be all right here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another logistics application there. We'll make sure that it is priority 2. There we go. Develop. Oh, the phone's ringing. All right. Uh, so we'll develop that. Again, should be able to get this done in a day. Absolutely no problem there. And we'll go ahead and fix 10 bugs for them. Beautiful. Outstanding quality. That's that's the Nerdsoft promise. Outstanding quality. Code level is going to be 4 on Nerdsoft Wave. The press release is coming along nicely as well. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to sit and uh, we'll let me work on Nerdsoft Wave for the next couple of months, because we have got the money. You know, this thing releases in a couple of months, but we have the money to sit by and just work on it. We can maybe go ahead and put out the press release now. It's only halfway done, but that's fine. Nerdsoft announces Nerdsoft Wave. Nerdsoft has sent out a press release about Nerdsoft Wave. Nerdsoft is not well known in this market. They've already started work on Nerdsoft Wave, and it doesn't look very feature rich. The press release contains some nice pictures, and it doesn't inspire confidence in the product's quality. It is slated to release March 1981. You know, the game the game is building is building confidence here, because these outsourced reviews are like, wow, that's really good. Um But then the 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 newspaper is like, hey, that's garbage. Like these right here are 9.2. And those are outsourced reviews. Those aren't even me. So, I mean, it's it's difficult is, is what I'm thinking here. Um, let's send out a press build. Not that it's going to really do anything, I don't think, but we'll send out a press build. Unfortunately, you aren't doing anything. But you are, like, next month you will be doing something. So, I guess we're going to see what happens here. This might make me money. It might not. The quality is good. Like, that's the thing. The quality of Nerdsoft Wave is good. Oh, there we go. Hold on. The follower count's going up there. Okay. They've given it a test run. The target demographic doesn't really know who Nerdsoft is. We haven't really heard about Nerdsoft Wave. 
It might be the new big hit, but it's not that feature rich. You'll be able to try it in the near future. In fact, you can try it this month. We're going to release it. Actually, no, we need to... Oh, I didn't put it into beta. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to delay it. We're going to delay it because I forgot beta until... May. We're going to delay it until May. That's going to hurt the number of followers, which means we need to immediately go and keep hype going. But we can also go ahead and put out another press release. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and push this thing into beta. So there we go. Hyping it. The reason we're hyping it is because if you look, we are currently losing a lot of followers rapidly because we've delayed it. So if we can sort of slow that down a bit and say, hey, let's not lose all the followers, then great. Unfortunately, we've lost all of them. Um, but we should be all right. We're releasing it next month. No one's technically following it. I think the delay might have actually been a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. What I think we'll do is we'll put out the press release, get a couple of followers, and then we'll put out another press build. And hopefully that'll be enough to boost up the followers again. So there we go. Followers are rising. There's 67 bugs fixed. It's ready to release. We're going to release it. We want to start a marketing campaign immediately. We're going to give it a daily budget of $5,000. That's $50,000 right there. Let's knock that budget down to $3,000 actually. And we're going to need to print copies. So let's order $15,000. Which is $18,000. Let's maybe order less than that. Let's do... 13,000 copies. And then immediately, we're going to pause for a second here because we need to go and start doing some contracts again. We need to get the logistics application done. So we're going to accept that. And we're going to uh, develop. And this is just going to keep us afloat in case this uh, actually turns out to be a disaster. Because obviously if it does turn out to be a disaster, we have a major problem. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pause again. We'll grab another logistics application. And we'll have it done by tomorrow morning. There we go. Develop that. We might have it done today. We'll totally have it done today. And we'll go ahead and release. There we go. So, Nerdresoft Wave. Is it going to make money? Is it going to... It made a little bit. It did make a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot, but it made a little bit. We don't know who Nerdresoft even is, and nobody knows them in the audio market. Nerdresoft Wave is extremely well put together. It's a very complex piece of craftsmanship, and it runs very smooth. But it feels very outdated. It'll be competing with Amp Studio 4 by Stab Inc. So it's worth the price, but it's probably not going to move copies. That's probably because of the marketing. If we maybe increase the marketing budget, that'll... That, that might help. That might help. The, the, that, that's, that's a big might. Uh, anyway, we have more embedded systems needing done here. Let's accept the work. And uh, let's actually accept both and see what happens. We'll go ahead and make those the priority. Development-wise, we can get through it very quickly. Code-wise, it's a little bit slower than it has been, but I think we can do both. I absolutely think we can do both in one day. There we go. Promote and promote. Release. And release. There we go. We got a bit of money. We got a little bit more from Wave as well. Which is totally fine. Obviously, it would be nice to be making more money from Wave. But I think the reason it probably isn't making much is... It's probably the marketing. It is, it is probably the marketing, but I'll tell you what I think we should do. I think we need to make, we need to start working on the sequel. We need to make Nerdsoft Wave 2. Except it's not going to be Wave 2, it's going to be Wave Studio. So Nerdsoft Wave Studio, it recommends two designers and three programmers. Doesn't actually recommend an artist, which is nice. And let's see what we're going to do here. We need to use... Preferably a good quality thing here. I guess we'll use Image Studio 4 for the 2D editor. And then for the operating system, 
we have these two right here. Which will give us a decent install base. So that should be fine. Now this is apparently going to take less than a year. I'm hopeful. This is going to be Nerdsoft Wave Studio. It's going to cost a lot more. It's going to cost, we'll say 50 this time. Actually, you know what? We'll say 59.99. So there we go. Let's start developing it. Let's maybe also grab another contract for an embedded system just to see if we can stay afloat here. And we'll go ahead and say that that is the priority right now. To develop. We can get all that code done in a day. I know I can do it. Come on. There we go. Promote and release. So a little bit of money coming in there. Let's see. Still not good enough. The, the, the marketing's still not good enough. I feel like the marketing's really letting us down here. Which is really disappointing. I wonder if we hadn't delayed it, would it have sold better? My only worry is it probably would have been a buggy mess if we, uh, if we hadn't delayed it. So I don't know. I feel like with the marketing just kind of running down there and not really doing much, we might have an issue. So let's go ahead and grab another logistics application. And let's just see if that is, is that logistics application enough to sort of keep us afloat here? So if we develop that, we can get all the code done in a day. Absolutely no problem. Is that enough to give us a profit? So promote that, release it. We got 6,000 off of that. Does that give us a profit today? It does. We did get a small profit. Unfortunately, Wave is just, it's just not selling. We've not even sold a thousand units. What if we port it to something? I mean, we could try porting it to those systems. They all have users. So we'll port it to those. We'll see what happens. We'll make that the priority right now. And hopefully in doing that, we might see a small increase in the number of people actually, you know, interested in, in checking out the software. Hopefully. Yeah, we made a little bit. I think the biggest issue really is just that the marketing is, is, is sparse. There's not a lot of marketing going on there. So I think we need to lower the marketing budget considerably to maybe half of what it is. And then I think what we could do is grab another contract. That logistics application right there. Almost 10,000 for that. Absolutely going to take it. And absolutely going to get it done nice and quickly. There we go. So even though we're losing money, and even though we're technically heading straight... Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got 13,000. It sold. It sold units. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we might be on the right path here. The marketing's still sparse. But that's all right. Let's promote you. Let's uh, release you as well. We got some money off of that. We could grab another logistics application just to keep us afloat while we're working on Wave Studio. And I guess we'll find out. I mean, I, I don't think we can really do much in the way of um, major marketing for Wave at this point. I don't think we can afford it, but it did... I mean, let's be real here. We got 13,000. We got 9,000. So we made some money off of it. The real question is, did we make a profit off of it? That's something I want to check, actually. No, we haven't made a profit. That's probably because of how much we spent on marketing. And I don't think there's any systems left to port it to. No, none of that stuff has active users. So that's a shame, but that's just how it's going to have to go. Now, Wave Studio, on the other hand, if we can make that good, that's amazing news. We also, we're still making money on this. So let's see if we can get Wave, Stu Wave Studios ready to be outstanding. Develop it. The only issue is it doesn't have followers. So, I mean, what is, what is this recommending for the code here? 11.7 code units. I guess it does recommend three programmers, doesn't it? 
Well, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, what if we were to... You know what? Let's keep an eye on marketing for Wave and see how it goes. Because if it starts dropping off massively, which it technically isn't, we could have went ahead and trained uh, Elaine Parker to be a programmer. We could have sent her away for a few months to get some training, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're just going to have to wait. But I think what I'm also going to do is go ahead and increase the marketing budget on you again to 5,000. And see if that's maybe enough to push the marketing amount up a little bit so that it's no longer sparse. Instead, it might actually be... No, it's not all that wide-reaching. We actually lost some money last month as well. And unfortunately, a computer is also running slow. So we'll call IT support. We'll call cleaning. And I'm really hopeful that we can... Uh, I'm really hopeful that we can maybe do some good stuff here with the marketing on Wave. No. We're still losing money. I think we need to lower that marketing budget again. Let's bring that down to... Uh, Let's bring it down to there. Back down to where it was. And I think we also probably want to go ahead and grab another logistics application. Just to, uh, you know, counteract what we lost the last two months. So, develop you. And again, that'll be done in a day. And should be totally, totally fine. There we go. Promote it and release it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like at this point, we are probably in a position where we can hire another programmer. And honestly, I'm very tempted to do so. Very, very tempted to bring another programmer on board. Because we kind of need it. I think if we're going to make Wave Studio, we need another programmer. Let's go ahead and get some outsourced reviews to see what people think of it. That was quite costly. Uh, yeah, it's a 1.1 out of 10 right now. So we probably want another programmer, is, is what I'm thinking. Probably not a bad idea. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave it there for today. And I think next time we're going to bring a programmer on board. So with that in mind, thank you, Cameron, for watching. This has been Software Inc. Alpha 10 Part 1. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.